Hi guys, hi guys, it's Marty, and today we're doing a movie review, movie review. So guys, guys, I got to first off the bat tell you, it's talking about this movie called Tomorrow's War, or maybe it was The Tomorrow's War, anyway, it's that movie on uh, Amazon, just came out a couple days ago, it got uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy guy in it, and everything, guys, 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 so first off the bat, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, you don't want to watch this, man. Tons of spoilers. Tons of spoilers here. But guys, it's a really good movie and you should watch it. But guys, guys, though, also, I don't know if you know about this, but there's this uh, term or this phrase called predictive programming. So this movie, man, this movie, it's full of predictive programming. So I believe, you know, like, don't quote me on this or nothing because, you know, I'm just some guy on YouTube. But I believe predictive programming is when, like, Hollywood and, like, the government puts out things. Uh, that they know is true and everything, they know it's going to happen, but they don't want to outright tell people what else is going to happen and everything. They just like put it in the movies and they're like, yeah, it's in a movie, it was a movie, it was a movie. But then, like later on, it actually happens, it actually happens. So guys, guys, I'll give you a quick example, quick example. So you know that movie Men in Black? So the original Men in Black, go back and watch it, go back and watch it. The original Men in Black. Uh, uh, Will Smith's character is like, hey. Why, why doesn't the government just tell people that aliens exist? He's like, oh, well, they can't handle it. And then, guys, you know what happened, like, last year? The government was like, hey, aliens exist, and everything. So, you guys know, predictive programming, predictive programming. Anyway, guys, anyway, guys, so, when I get into this review, though, great action movie, great action movie. Anyway, guys, so, it starts off, it's like, 30 years into the future. And there's, there's some gunfight, and there's some gunfight with, like, Chris, Chris Pratt and everything, you know. I think that's his name, Chris Pratt, you know, the Guardians of the Galaxy guy. The Guardians of the Galaxy guy. Anyway, then he goes back to his house, and he's trying to get a job being, like, a science teacher and whatnot. But then they don't hire him because he only has military experience, and he doesn't have, like, civilian experience. But then, guys, then, guys, all of a sudden, uh, so, so, the, this, 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 the, this is the part right here. This is the part that actually probably would happen, you know. So they're all watching, I believe they're watching the World Cup, and... You know, Americans. Americans don't really care about watching the World Cup. Because, you know, soccer ain't really America's game. We all about football, basketball, baseball. You know, some people like hockey, you know, and everything. But guys, so they're watching the World Cup, which I thought was kind of strange. You know, all these, or this military guy watching the World Cup, you know. You know, to each his own, to each his own. But I thought that was strange, you know. Predictive program, predictive programming. Anyway, guys, so they're watching the World Cup. And then all of a sudden... Uh, there's this thing that this uh, comes on, and, whoosh, and then there's like this uh, time portal, you know, like a, uh, 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 I forget what that that one TV show was called back in the day, you know, with the so with like the star thing or whatever. And they they go through, you know, it was some like show back in like the 90s, maybe early 2000s. But anyway, anyway, so they go through this thing, and then they're on the on the field or as, or the pitch, as the people that like soccer call it, or football, football, you know. Anyway, so. And then they're like, hey, America, they're like, hey, world, we need your help, you know, 30 years in the future, you know, crazy things happen, crazy things happen. And I was thinking to myself, I'm like, hey, why'd they come out on the, during the World Cup and do this? And you know why, guys? Because the world loves soccer or football. The world loves that. America, not so much, not so much. But the world does, so they came out during the World Cup and everything. So well, once again, they, they found like the, the best possible way to get their word out and everything. So then, you know, some things go down, some things go down. There's like a draft and everything. The, the Guardians of the Galaxy guy gets drafted because he has like prior military experience and everything. And then guys, uh, so then the Guardians of the Galaxy guy's there. And uh, some other people are there, you know. They get shipped down to, to Miami, which I think was kind of crazy, you know. They get shipped down to Miami because there's, a, there's some recent events that just happened in Miami. You guys know. But anyway, anyway, you know, could be a coincidence, could be a coincidence. So anyway, uh, they're in Miami, and then they got these things called the, what are they called them? White something? I don't know. It's white, white, white spikes. That's what they're called, white spikes. Yeah, they're called white spikes. And there's these crazy things, and then they go, they go, you're here for seven days, and uh, you go, you're, I think they're like, you're here for six days, on the seventh day, you out, because these guys... They, they fight for six days straight, and then on the seventh day, they rest. They call it the Sabbath, you know. Isn't that interesting, guys? The Sabbath, you know. Then there's, so there's, there's like some biblical things to go here. Some biblical things, you know. So these white uh, spike things. Also, you know what they kind of look like, guys? They kind of look like giant locusts, you know. Predictive programming? Who knows, who knows? Anyway, guys, so they look like giant locusts and everything. 
and uh, they were saying, they're like, hey, how, how did these white spikes ever get here? And they're like, we don't know. They just showed up in Russia. It's like they've always been here. So I'm like, they've always been here because you guys know Locust. Locust isn't around like year round. Locust comes out like once, once in a while, you know, once every couple of years, Locust just shows up and everything. Also, there's like some bugs that show up every once in a while too, you know. Kind of crazy, crazy, you know, research it, you know. Once again, I'm just some guy on YouTube. Just some guy on YouTube. Anyway, so they're talking about all this stuff and everything. And then, you know, fast forward a little bit, fast forward a little bit. So, uh, the, the general just so happens to be Guardians of the Galaxy's daughter. But like in the future, you know, because they jump like 30 years. They jump 30 years. And everything. So he's like the Guardians of the Galaxy guy's uh, daughter. And everything. You know, they fight, they fight. And then... Uh, they uh, they get a, they get a female, all right. They get a female, and they get they're like, hey, how can we get rid of this race of people? And they're like, oh, first we need their DNA, and then we like some, do some science type stuff, and then we inject them with something, and then the race goes extinct. So guys, 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 this right here had me thinking. Once again, guys, I'm just some guy on YouTube. Don't even know what I'm talking about. You know, just some guy on YouTube. My general thoughts and everything. So anyway. They said they needed their DNA, and then they need to do some sciencey stuff, and then they need to inject them with something. So guys, guys, you guys remember all those 23andMe commercials, or that, that uh, what was the other one? Like the, anyway, the and, and stressy and stressy commercials, you know, uh, you know, where they collect people's DNA. Anyway, I haven't seen those commercials in a long time, you know. Don't know why. Did people just quit trying to look for their lineages and something? You know? You know, does anyone know whatever happened to that 23andMe company? Or that Ants Directory company? You know? Don't really know. Don't really know. So they collected uh, the DNA and then they did some sciencey stuff and then they injected people with something. And hmm, hmm. Doesn't that seem familiar? There's a certain pandemic that just happened. You know, 23andMe company collected people's DNA. And then some people were injected with something, you know, mass people were injected with something. So, you know, coincidence, coincidence. Also, this movie's on Amazon Prime and I'm sure most people have Amazon because, you know, who doesn't have an Amazon account? Everyone has an Amazon account. So the vast majority of people probably can watch this movie. You know, it's called The Tomorrow's War, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy guy. So I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, hmm, this is a whole lot of predictive programming happening here. Because, you know, collect the people's DNA, uh, did some sciencey stuff, injected people with something, you know, to prevent something in the future. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just showing you what the movie's about, guys. Just showing you what the movie's about. But anyway, guys, so, kind of crazy, kind of crazy. And then, uh, like, fast forward a little bit, you know, uh, uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy guy has to take the, the vial to, to Russia, or to Russia or some like Icelandic area, maybe Antarctica, you know, people, they don't go up to Antarctica, you know, why don't people go up to Antarctica, you know, who knows, who knows, who knows, you know, just some guy on YouTube here, just some guy on YouTube, anyway, so they went up to uh, Russia, which also, you know, so they went up to Russia, and uh, they're like, uh, they're like, you're the, the only hope, you know, uh, you're the guy's gonna, uh, uh, you know, save the the galaxy and everything. And I'm like, hmm, they picked the guy that's from the Guardians of the Galaxy to save the galaxy. Or whatever, you know. So, I don't even know, I don't even know how it goes. So this movie, The Tomorrow's War, full of predictive programming. Full of predictive programming. So guys, it's a really good action movie, but, you know, I think some things are going to go down, or some things already went down, you know. And they're trying to prevent it, you know, because you guys already know the, the events of the past year and whatnot. Anyway, guys, so all in all, great movie, great movie. You should check it out. It's called The Tomorrow's War. But something's a little fishy about it. Something's a little fishy about it. Anyway, guys, it's hopefully you like this review, you know, movie reviews. Uh, anyway, just make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Oh, I got to give you my rating. So my, I'll give my rating on it. Uh, boom, bam, boom, bam, boom, bam, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. You know, great movie, great movie. You know, check it out, check it out. Anyway, guys, you know, check it out. Tell me what you think about it in the comments below. And, you know. This uh, keeps spreading some good vibes only. Until next time, Marty out. Mm -hmm.